why yes i am a grown woman thank you for noticing i and if you didn't know i also have kids who love chan's room you may know them and to be honest they have had some better reactions to chan's room hiatus than some stays that are way older than them it may seem that the video that i posted was an overreaction why does it matter why should it matter what Stay posts? He's an adult, he's an idol, he's famous. He can do whatever the hell he wants. Yes, this is true. But first, not policing ourselves thoroughly as a fandom is kind of the reason that we got into this situation in the first place. Second, picture this. You're an idol, you have millions of adoring fans and they bring in money and fame for you, but you're honestly a little bit more attached than you probably should be to them. Before bed one night, you decide to scroll TikTok just like, you know, everybody does, and you come across a couple of posts from your fans saying, oh man, I really miss them, and you think, hey, that's, that's cute. But then you come across a video that's saying, oh, my mental health is really, really bad. It would be better if they came on. And you think, okay, that, that's a little dramatic, <laughs> but um, I can't right now. I, I have to, you know, take care of myself. The next night, goes pretty similarly, except this time you see a video of someone crying and bawling, saying that they miss you horribly and that they wish you would come back to life. And you're thinking, but I'm right here. I, I, was, I just posted Instagram this morning. I had a magazine cover they released at noon and we have a dome tour that's coming up, you know, next week. I haven't gone anywhere. I can't go live, I need a shower, I need to rest, and I have schedules in the morning. And this goes on for months. Every single day you see posts like this. Some are tame and are just like, hey, I miss you, even though you haven't really gone anywhere. And then there are others that are pretty practically demanding that you need to go live right now or in the near future, otherwise their mental health is gonna suffer. And after months, it starts to weigh on you you start to think, you know, is it really that hard? Maybe I should go live. You know, I, I really need to take care of myself, but if I go live, then these videos might stop. See why it's important? One or two videos of people saying, hey, I miss you, isn't really that bad. But when a majority of stay is pushing for something that may not even be possible, intentionally or unintentionally, then that's when it becomes a problem. So yeah, this video may seem over dramatic and the other video may seem over dramatic, but that's a good thing. That means that we've caught it early enough. Just think about what it would be like if this video didn't seem over dramatic. And honestly, from the comments from the last video, uh, we may be close to that point. <laughs> Chan knows. He loves us as a fandom too much not to. He sees everything, and we know he sees everything because he said that he sees everything. And if I, if I see a video at midnight of someone crying and begging him to come back to Chan's life, what do you think he's gonna see? And if Chan has seen that stuff, that's unacceptable.